<laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some more Fallout 76 news. And uh, you may have noticed that ever since the December the 4th update, there's been unrest in the Fallout community. And uh, we're going to be reviewing that today. We're going to be talking about the December the 4th update and uh, what people are calling stealth nerves. <laughs> But before we discuss this, we're gonna have to rewind for a second. So if you guys remember a couple of episodes ago, I was praising Bethesda for finally addressing some of the complaints that we had with the first patch. And in a post on Reddit, they basically said that they were focused on compiling all the feedback that we were giving them and uh, basically creating tickets for the development team. And they forgot to communicate this to us. So basically they admitted they made a mistake. It's been a day, but they had an official communication that says communication moving forward from Bethesda. And uh, this is the official Bethesda Game Studios account. We didn't want you to think the silence meant and nothing was happening we're sorry and understand this was not the right approach they were being silent they were not being expressive or informative in any way it was basically radio silence at the time and uh basically what i said and what many people speculated was that this was happening the context is that this was happening around um around thanksgiving so a lot of people me included said all right let's give him a break it's a holiday weekend, so let's just wait and see what happens afterwards. And they basically released a communication uh, through Reddit saying, all right, we admit we haven't been uh, forthcoming here. We haven't been very informative. So we're going to try to improve this in the future. We're going to release patch notes on time. We're going to be more detailed in the patch notes and we're going to create some articles at least weekly. And that all sounded all right. It sounded all right. So at the time I was praising them and saying, all right, dudes, at least you admit you made a mistake and you're trying to improve, right? So fast forward a couple of weeks to December the 4th, the first, I mean, the second update. And oh boy, hell broke loose, my dude, because uh, I'm looking at the patch notes here. So first of all, ignore this section right here that says patch notes update because we're gonna be talking about this in a second here but i want you guys to focus on everything that does not say added right so basically the stash size uh over here bosses and enemies xp uh weapons effects and pvp um console fixes xbox uh crashes fixes um all of these things that don't say added was what uh was originally included in these uh, patch notes for December the 4th. So a lot of these are changes to basically just performance and optimization. Um, uh, if you guys remember, this is a three gigabyte update for uh, console players, which is, it's a decent size update. Uh, not as big as the first one uh, on November 19th, but uh, it's still pretty big. And for uh, PC players, this is a 36 megabyte update. So. It's definitely um, smaller in size, uh, but uh, it was predicted by them. We all knew this was going to happen, so that's good. However, what happened is that if you guys have noticed in the Reddit, there is a lot of unrest and a lot of people unhappy about these changes. It's not because of what you can see here, it's because of what you can't see or what you couldn't see at the time. So basically, all of these things that say added were not included in the original patch notes and these are what people are calling stealth nerves a lot of these are nerves to systems and items nerves that by the way nobody asked for <laughs> like this is a rebalancing issue that was hidden from the users and was not included in the original patch notes so that right off the bat tells you what the attitude is from uh, the community managers here because make no mistake guys they knew there was gonna be a backlash because of some of these changes especially because of the changes to the workshops uh, if you guys are not aware I have a list here with all of the changes to the uh, workshops so basically they nerfed the extractor capacity look at all these changes right here all of these items 
were reduced, um, the special workshop capacity was reduced, the production rate was reduced, uh, the production output was reduced. So if you guys remember, for instance, there's a famous uh, workshop that produces ammunition that got nerfed. So, and this is just the beginning. There's a lot of nerfs that happened that were not added to the patch notes intentionally. This is not a mistake. They did this intentionally because they thought, all right, if we release this and make it clear that we're making the game more grindy, people are gonna get mad. So they thought they could get away with it, but <laughs> obviously this community is um, very invested in the game. So we have people just data mining the game and uh, all of this information came from people literally just data mining. And uh, that's not good, my dude, because then we have an issue with uh, a lot of people posting uh, changes that they just presumably found but uh, it's unclear whether or not some of these changes are real. So we have a mix between things that are real and things that are not real. And because you're not being forthright with the changes that you're adding to the game and the rebalancing, now we have, basically, we don't know what's happening. So that's what happens when you're not clear with what you're doing. If we look at the patch notes and we don't see all of these changes, which are significant changes to the balance of the game, we're not going to trust you. So we're going to go to the community and try to make sense of all of these changes. So essentially what you're doing is you're losing the player's trust. And I have, I have a lot of posts here that basically say the same thing. They say, you're killing your own game, Bethesda. Destiny tried to stealth nerfs and it backfired in a very bad way. Other companies have tried to stealth nerf and all it does is piss off your players and push them away from the game. We have another post here. Bethesda, please be more open about patch notes. Today, after the patch notes, players kept noticing several changes that were not mentioned, aka stealth nerfs. The point of patch notes is they inform players of game changes. Informing players of only the changes you think are worth mentioning is not a good practice. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. So I have another one right here. This one is in regards to the workshop changes. So isn't it interesting that the two changes that would be absolutely abhorred by the community were left out until they were discovered? Yeah, that's not a coincidence, dude. You and I are on the same page. This is not, this is not a mistake. They are stealthily making huge changes in the wrong direction. Workshops were already next to useless. This makes the concept of owning them and god forbid fighting over them pointless this is not the time for pointless nerfs that nobody asked for you can tell just by the replies to the bethesda rep that as more people find this stuff out there's gonna be trouble so here's the reply from one of the bethesda community managers uh, the official account on uh, reddit they say these resource collector adjustments were not intentionally omitted. We've updated the patch notes with the following information and they add uh, basically the workshop changes to output production and extraction rates. So let me put it this way. We have a list of changes that uh, fix a lot of issues with the game. They fixed uh, XP exploits, they fixed um, caps exploits, a lot of things that I think we can all agree are good for the community, but when it comes to changes that make the game more difficult, you just made a mistake there. Dude, no one believes you. We all know the truth, all right? This was intentionally left out. You were trying to secretly nerf a lot of systems to make the game grindier. And God forbid, I see microtransactions that influence gameplay, all right? Because I'm gonna be very mad after this change, all right? And sadly, this is just the beginning. Look at this. Here I have another information dump. Look at all these changes. Production rates, ammo production cap reduced, uh, getting ore instead of scrap, lead in camp workshop is unaffected, fusion cores drain quicker, legendary spawns reduced, and percentage of them having a legendary also reduced. 
uh, plans not being awarded as often for events, the legendary effect that regains HP uh, now restores AP instead. And this one right here is the biggest information dump. I'm gonna add the link in the description so you guys can read all of this, but I mean, this is not a mistake, dude. These are all nerves right here, all right? So look at this. This game has so much potential. Stop effing it up. Another quick note, don't be afraid to give your developers access to Reddit. Sometimes it's nice to hear something from an actual developer once in a while. <laughs> All I have to say here is that Bethesda's community management team has had it rough ever since the game came out, right? Uh, it, it hasn't been easy for them, but sadly, I can't say they lived up to the challenge, you know, because there's been a lot of issues that have been made worse just because of the responses that we have gotten from Bethesda's customer support and community management team. And uh, just to recap, a few examples of uh, incompetence here. With an island bag, they said they were not gonna do anything about it, and then they lied and said that uh, the reason why they didn't add a canvas bag was because of unavailability of materials. Here's another example. When their customer's private information was leaked, the reply we got was, hi guys, we've resolved the issue. And now with this whole debacle, the answer was, hi everyone, we want you to know that we are working on this and we'll have more information for you ASAP. <laughs> the replies are, you're working on what exactly? Better communications, better patch notes, more, less stealth changes, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, looks like they're working on deflecting questions, securing canvas, didn't you hear about the worldwide shortage? This is the greatest bubble story of all time. Back in the 1600s, the Dutch, they get speculation fever to the point that you could buy a beautiful house on a canal in Amsterdam for the price of one canvas bag. So, yeah, and over here, they fin finally clarify better answers, patch notes that are comprehensive, information on why changes are happening. So after the community basically had to data mine the game to find all of these nerves they finally updated the patch notes so it says patch notes updated december 6th so this is 48 hours afterwards in an effort to be more transparent with our patch notes below is a full list of changes included in tuesday's patch that's december the 4th uh, for the upcoming patch and all future patches our goal is to deliver accurate comprehensive notes if we miss something we'll work to get it right and deliver the information to you as quickly as we can we're also looking to share a list of known issues to give you a better sense of what we're working on so that's it we have finally come full circle and now we can take a look at all the changes that say added december the 6th so here we have uh the workshop changes now even though they did add all of these, uh, we have the ballistic fiber. We're going to be talking about this in a future episode. Uh, this is still not complete, I think, because if you look at all the changes that were listed by the community, there's a lot of changes that are not here. And of course, they're not going to go into too much detail. They're not going to actually tell you uh, the reduced uh, percentages and stuff like that. But um, I feel like they need to improve this somehow. Of course, we can't expect them to add absolutely every single detail. <laughs> they might as well just add the code in here. But uh, <laughs> but I think they do have to avoid stealth nerves, you know. Especially when you have a community that is uh, less than happy with the game as it is. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys did, remember to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.